Hello and welcome back to this channel. It's me again and this is already the 14th video in the series Dynamic Segmentation Inside Out. In this video I'm going to show you something completely different. And that is how you can show the Dynamic Segmentation users in Airwave. As you all probably know Aruba Airwave is the on-prem network management solution for Aruba campus networks. In order to be able to get client visibility in Airwave, we have to configure network management functionality on the switches, mobility controller, and get the Airwave to talk with the devices and obtain analytical information. Uh, in this demonstration, I've already configured everything, but I will show you what you have to configure in order to get this working. It's not rocket science, but you have to know where to set up your configs. Let me start with the switches. On the switch you have to configure SNMP. Uh, I will just be using straightforward SNMP V1 or V2, uh, but any SNMP version will do the trick. Um, now, because it's for monitoring purposes only, it doesn't really matter whether you configure a read-only or read-write community. So, uh, let me just show you the uh, configuration uh, for SNMP. Really very straightforward. I've configured two communities, one public, which is restricted, so that's read-only, and um, one uh, read-write community. Okay, uh, so that's really it for the, um, uh, for the, for the SNMP configuration. Uh, I'm setting a, an SNMP destination here, so that uh, the traps can be sent to the server. Um, and the other thing you have to do is you have to uh, enable the SNMP server. So that's not in the config, um, but it's basically enable SNMP server. Right, so, but it's already enabled. Um, and next is the mobility controller. Uh, setting up the mobility controller for Airwave is really, really very simple. Um, so you've got the configuration system tab and you can see there's an Airwave option here. So really very simple. You have to enable connect to Airwave. You have to provide an IP address, the SNMP version that you want to run. Again, you can run V2 or V3 here. But, you know, for the sake of simplicity, I just use V2. And you can provide a community string and that is all for the mobility controller so really very straightforward now for airwave we do have to configure some things in order to be able to get all the stats from the client the main thing here is how to get this information from the mobility controllers for this we're not really using SNMP but a different protocol called Amon Amon is a protocol that allows you to uh, to obtain client monitoring information from a controller rather than polling it via SNMP. And this AMON uh, information includes the bulk of client monitoring uh, information. So by default AMON is not activated on Airwave, so let me show you how and where to enable this. So for this I have to go to the AMP setup in general and there is a section called additional AMP services and then you've got this option here prefer AMON versus SNMP polling and you have to set that option to yes. Other than that you have to make sure that the devices are discoverable and that the appropriate communities are configured for the devices and I can do that in the uh, device setup so I can um, um, configure some some default settings for the switches so for example for the Aruba OS switch you can set the default community strings here um, and by default it will use those community strings for the discovery uh, alternatively what you can do is you can create uh, some you know some discover uh, entries here and for this you can add or manage uh, credentials so I've already done that here and all the devices are actually already discovered here so I've got the uh, mobility controllers 
I've got a core switch here and I've got the dynamic segmentation switch here. You can see there's a mismatching configuration because I made some changes to the configuration and the configuration is not synchronized with Airwave at the moment, but that's something that you can do and then you know it's all synchronized. But uh, not within the scope of this uh, of this video. And that's really it for the um, configuration. Now in the previous video I have connected everything so we should be able to see some client information. Uh, you can see that there are four clients uh, so let's check them out. They're here. Um, so first let's check out the camera here. Uh, and I'll just click on the MAC address and what you will see here on top is, is that you can see the full path of this client connecting to the mobility controller here. That's that's pretty cool. And so um, so there's so that's your tunneled connection. Um, you can also see the device info here uh, as well as some utilization figures um and what else oh yeah you can also see this this great green dot in the device here so that is uh that shows you that everything is fine if there would be a situation where there's um an, you know where threshold is exceeded um you can uh so this this green bulb will uh change color so it will either turn yellow or red now for the thresholds let me just show you a switch um, so what I can do is I can set some thresholds here um, for the um, for the relevant components. So I can set thresholds for the switch, for the network, for the controller. You know, there's all kinds of thresholds that you can set here. Um, and if these thresholds are exceeded, you'll get this um, alarm situation here. Another cool feature. Uh, in Airwave is the topology function. So if I go to the dashboard and there is a topology option here, you can see the topology of the network. Uh, let me just extract that one. Okay, so you can see the dynamic segmentation switch connected to the core switch and you can see the mobility controllers that are also connected to that core switch. So if I select the switch you can get that information here. You can see the status. Um, I can also go to a view. And for the dynamic segmentation, I can also click on tunneled controllers. And what you can see here is that these are the uh, tunnels that are established to the mobility controller. So these are your uh, switch anchor controllers. And uh, let me show you another cool thing in the um, in Airwave. Let me just switch that one off. Let's click on the switch. When I click on the IP address I just move to this uh, switch view. So so you can see the switch here with all the information. What's running, what's uh, some port status and everything, some utilization and I can show some tabs so the ports that are connected up and down uh, you can see that uh, port 456 is up and port 8 that's your uplink port. Uh, you can see the PoE that is used um, for port 4 and 5. There's some PoE used there. That's for the camera and for the phone. Um, the VLANs that are configured and the other stuff. Uh, so this is really a, an interesting tab. So, so you can see the connected devices here with the username user role, IP address and everything. So this is really uh, your, so if you would issue a, a show port access client detail command on the switch then this is the information that you will get on the switch. But now it's all uh, shown and displayed in Airwave. So you don't have to go to the switch in order to be able to see the client information. And this should give you a pretty good insight as to what you can do with airwave monitoring dynamic segmentation. And the time has come to say see you later. Be on the lookout for more dynamic segmentation videos. I'm ending this video by saying thank you for watching. 
And if you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, please let us know and make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you're up to date with all the great stuff that is coming to you from Aruba Networks. Thank you and bye bye.